Ever wondered about the fuel that powers those massive jets across the skies and its impact on our environment? Traditional jet fuel contributes to carbon emissions significantly. The aviation industry is moving towards sustainable aviation fuel, or SAF, a biofuel made from plant or animal materials. Its adoption promises drastic reductions in greenhouse emissions but faces challenges in production costs and resource availability. Stay tuned as we take flight into the fascinating world of sustainable aviation fuel. Sustainable aviation fuel or SAF isn't your average jet fuel. It's derived from plant or animal materials, not fossil fuels. Picture this, flight fuel from waste, a reality pursued by companies like BP. Current regulations limit SAF to 50% in fuel mixture to ensure safety and efficiency. The goal? A 100% mixture by 2030. No aircraft engine modifications are needed for SAF use. SAF could reduce greenhouse gas emissions by up to 80%. But there are challenges like consistent raw material supply and meeting safety standards. Imagine the future possibilities if we could use SAF as a 100% replacement for traditional jet fuel. We've talked about what SAF is, but what about its environmental impact? The promise of sustainable aviation fuel lies in its potential to drastically reduce the carbon emissions of the aviation industry, a sector that currently accounts for around 2.5% of global emissions. SAF is designed to meet rigorous sustainability criteria with a primary goal of cutting greenhouse gas emissions by at least 50%. Some research even suggests that SAF can achieve reductions of up to 80%. That's a significant decrease, almost as if we're grounding four out of every five planes, but that's not all. The next generation of SAF, made from biomass such as plant and agricultural waste, could reach even higher levels of carbon reduction. We're talking about potential reductions of 85 to 95%. Let's put this into perspective. When SAF is made with biomass, the process is nearly carbon neutral. This is because the carbon dioxide released during the fuel's combustion is approximately equivalent to the carbon dioxide absorbed during the growth of the biomass. However, it's important to note that some emissions do occur during the production process. The environmental impact of SAF extends beyond just carbon emissions. By using waste materials as feedstock, SAF production can also contribute to waste management and resource efficiency. It's like hitting two birds with one stone, or should we say, one fuel. However, while SAF's potential to reduce aviation's carbon footprint is impressive, it's crucial to remember that these benefits can only be realized if the fuel is produced sustainably and used widely. This requires overcoming significant technical, economic, and regulatory challenges. But imagine a world where the roar of a jet engine overhead doesn't mean a surge of carbon emissions into our atmosphere, a world where flying doesn't have to cost the Earth. That's the promise of sustainable aviation fuel. So it seems like SAF could be a major player in reducing aviation's carbon footprint. In the next scene, we'll delve into the challenges that stand in the way of making this green dream a reality. If SAF is so great, why isn't it more widely used? That's a valid question which brings us to the challenges of implementing sustainable aviation fuel. The first, and perhaps the most pressing challenge, is the cost. As with many new technologies and production methods, the cost of producing SAF is significantly higher than traditional jet fuel. As Scott Kirby, the CEO of United Airlines, rightly pointed out, there's no sustainable aviation fuel that is cost competitive yet with traditional jet fuel. This expense is a major roadblock for airlines. The European aviation sector alone faces a staggering transition bill of over $485 billion to adopt clean fuels. The second challenge lies in the scarcity of waste-based feedstock, which is necessary for SAF production. The feedstock used in SAF production includes waste oils, animal fats, and agricultural residues, which are not always readily available in the quantities needed. This highlights the need for a broader range of feedstock options and innovations in feedstock sourcing. The third challenge is SAF's lower energy density compared to traditional jet fuel. This means that more SAF is needed to provide the same amount of energy as conventional jet fuel, making it less efficient. This lower energy density could potentially limit the range and payload of aircraft, which is a significant concern for long-haul flights. Despite these challenges, it's important to remember that they are not insurmountable. 
With the right policies, technological advances, and investment in research and development, the aviation industry can overcome these obstacles. Governments around the world need to craft policies that encourage the production scale-up of SAF, reduce costs, and ensure environmental integrity. These challenges are significant but not insurmountable with the right policies and technological advances. The journey towards a greener and more sustainable aviation future might be challenging, but the potential rewards for our planet, our climate, and future generations make it a journey worth undertaking. SAF holds incredible promise for a greener future in aviation. This statement beautifully encapsulates the essence of our discussion today. As we've explored, sustainable aviation fuel, or SAF, is a revolutionary innovation with the potential to significantly reduce aviation's carbon footprint. It's made from renewable sources such as plant or animal materials and even waste products, replacing the traditional fossil fuels that are so detrimental to our environment. With the ability to cut greenhouse gas emissions by as much as 80% compared to conventional jet fuels, SAF could be a game changer. It's a glimmer of hope in our collective effort to curb global carbon emissions, of which aviation currently contributes around 2.5%. The industry's commitment to achieving net zero carbon emissions by 2050 is a lofty goal, and SAF could play a crucial role in making this a reality. Yet, the path to widespread adoption of SAF is not without its challenges. The high cost associated with its innovative technologies and production methods is a significant hurdle to overcome. Today, only about 0.1% of total aviation fuel consumption is SAF, a number that we hope will increase as the industry finds ways to make it cost competitive with traditional jet fuels. Moreover, SAF's lower energy density compared to conventional jet fuel poses another challenge. It's less efficient, which means more fuel is needed to cover the same distance. Overcoming these obstacles will require concerted efforts from industry players, governments, and society at large. Policies that encourage production scale-up, reduce costs, and ensure environmental integrity are needed to pave the way for a future where SAF is the norm, not the exception. In conclusion, while SAF is not yet a perfect solution, it holds immense potential for a future where air travel is far less damaging to our planet. It's an exciting prospect that we should all be invested in. If you found this information useful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching.